Matt Dodge was way worse than you remember, which is saying something because I think a lot of people remember him for not being so good and probably the Giants fan out there remember more than most with his struggles and ultimately how he went from being drafted in the seventh round to not making it past a single season in the NFL. But before I get ahead of myself, if you want something that wasn't worse than you remember, try out today's sponsor, Candidips. Candidips is dip pouches filled with 15 milligrams of good American-grown CBD, helping you give up your bad tobacco habits and not give up too two punt return touchdowns like our friend here. So whether you're looking to have a good time or kick the wacky tobacco, you got to give Candidips a try. Go to CandidipsCBD.com and use promo code PUNT at the checkout for a discount on your order and to support the channel. But let's get back to our punter. So let me give you guys a quick little primer on Matt Dodge. He was a punter right out of my home state in North Carolina and attended East Carolina University. The Giants would be attracted by his big leg and would go up and draft him in the seventh round. This would be what we call here in sports YouTube a bad idea because what happened during the next season would be nothing short of a disaster for them. First, let me add in what he did well, just to maybe cushion the blow if you, Mr. Dodge, ever do happen to watch this. But admittedly, he had a very big leg, especially for punters in his day. This man, on his good day, would hit dong shots with the rest of them. I mean, real piss rockets, you know what I'm saying? There was a stretch of games mid-season where it really looked like, you know, everything was coming together for him. He had some great punts, and realistically, while he did have trouble getting really good hangs and was very, very inconsistent with direction, when you're blasting 50-plus yard punts down the field, bro, who freaking cares? But outside of this little stretch in the middle of the season, the picture being painted was very different. Game one, he could barely get the ball out of the camera view, and his hesitation in catching a snap led to him getting one punt blocked. The Colts game was okay, but not great, and in a wacky turn of events against the Titans, he ended up not punting at all, which led to a Chicago's Bears games that was borderline disastrous for him if you ignored how he was being saved by penalties on the return team. The Lions would see Dodge drop a snap, and here, only four games into the season, I think you're starting to get the point. It seemed like every week was something new. Between just being able to catch the ball to being able to hit a decent ball that couldn't be replicated by your average high schooler to just seeming like you deserve to be on the field with 21 other grown men. All these troubles though culminated in one game because up to this point, whether Dodge had a good game, bad game, no game at all, it didn't really matter. Yes, it was annoying for the fans because you want some form of stability on a punt unit, but in reality, the Giants were in a season where their games weren't really decided by the punts of a single man. That was until the miracle. The Miracle in New Meadowlands, probably what Dodge is most infamous for. A rare situation for a punter to be in, but regardless, as a guy who had proved time and time again that he was a liability to the team rather than a key factor to their success, this could have been his time to ultimately flip the script and show the world that he wasn't the punter they thought he was. But that didn't happen. He hooked it down the middle and history wrote itself. Surprisingly, they let him finish the season, but after that, he was gone. And honestly, can you blame him? But that's the story of Matt Dodge, how he went from, you know, a pretty interesting draft prospect in the seventh round to completely out of the league by the end of it. So let me know if you think any punters had a worse season than this. And you know, hey, maybe I'll get around to making a video of it. But right now you can see my suggested video as well as YouTube's algorithm pick. So let me know which one you think is better. Anyway, hope you guys are having an amazing day and peace. There's six more yards than the Cowboys have as an offense tonight. And he couldn't get that one as Dodge did a great job of kicking it deep.